Hello Seka. Hi. So, uh, can you share a bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, my name is Sheikha Bhatta. I'm from India. I'm from southernmost state of India called Kerala. And I'm right now doing my third year degree in B.Tech Computer Science Engineering, specialized in cyber security from Vellore Institute of Technology, Andhra Pradesh. So basically, I was having a four months vacation and I thought of doing something uh, different and came here to do the volunteering. So how does life in India differ from life in Sri Lanka? Total lifestyle in India that I had in India and that I had in Sri Lanka are totally different because uh, in India, uh, like after coming to Sri Lanka here, uh, like the food timings and everything, uh, since I'm staying in the monastery, uh, the food timings the morning it's at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, then at night also it's in the 6 o'clock in the evening. But in India it's completely different, the dinner will be at mostly in 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock at night and breakfast also it will be around in the morning uh, 9 to 10 so that thing is quite different even the culture is different um, people are also very generous and kind over here did you try any sri lankan dishes that you particularly enjoy yeah i tried different varieties of sri lankan dishes it was very nice actually i tried string hoppers then uh, mm, kotu then kondakeru kondakeru that thing. Then uh, there was one toffee particularly that I read, Royalu, something like that. I don't remember the name quite cool. But I did try a variety of Sri Lankan dishes and I loved every bit of it. Everything was tastes good. Where did you spend the most time during your stay in Sri Lanka? Okay, so since I'm doing volunteering in the UHS campus, I was uh, staying in the monastery's hostel. So uh, along with the nuns, uh, so I stayed there with the, along with the students of the campus. So how did you find the atmosphere on our campus during your stay? The atmosphere in the, your campus is actually absolutely breathtaking. Because uh, first of all, talking about the atmosphere around the campus, it's very peaceful. It seems like you're going to a resort and uh, having a rest, uh, like having a vacation of your own. Uh, also, it, the climate is also very nice. Everything feels good. But the most important thing is that the people around you, the people around the, your campus, especially the students and the nuns, and monks, everyone, everyone was so friendly and kind to me. Even though I didn't feel like I was a foreigner over there, I always felt like I was at home. So I didn't feel homesick also. What kind of experience that you get from our campus? I actually got a lot of experience from the campus. If I start talking about the day when I came, uh, the first day I had a bit of you know, everyone have a bit of uh, uncomfortable feeling, right? So I didn't have that because the nuns helped me out. The nuns asked me to uh, go and help if I wish. The students in the campus, they mostly do the work and help the nuns and monks. So the nun, one of the nuns asked me, if Sheikha, if you want, you can go and help them. So I said, okay, fine, I'll help them. I went there. I went there and started helping. I wanted to talk to them, but it was quite difficult because they couldn't understand me and I was not able to understand Senela. So then I understood that they were music students. Even a Gurukul of music, there's a student over there who is studying music over there. So we started singing songs and we became, we got along really well and uh, everyone was enjoying it that time. So what is the most memorable thing in there? In campus? In campus? Mm, the Christmas carol. Uh, during the Christmas, there was an event during Christmas and uh, the carols were quite good. Then after that, a uh, DJ party was arranged. So I enjoyed during the DJ party, I danced well uh, along with all the students of the campus and enjoyed my night that day. And on Sundays, we usually go to Tree Hut along with the students, with the nun also. We have a small picnic like thing. We'll sing songs, we'll dance, we'll play games and enjoy the view over there. I love the view in the tree hut actually. So, what can you tell to a person who is applying the similar opportunity in future? I would definitely say don't hesitate because it just takes one step. Just take that step even though it must be an uncomfortable task to take but just take it, you'll enjoy every bit of it because I didn't feel like 
uh, going back home right now also i don't feel like going back home but i have to because my college is starting i enjoyed every day here i met many new people like many new foreigners come to the monastery uh, most days to visit the monastery so i got an experience of meeting them and talking with them uh, i met nuns and monks i talked with them about the science of mind and stuff it was really good actually uh, before coming to here i didn't know that i was coming here i just knew that this place was in gaul and uh, when i got to know that I'm, i will be teaching and staying in monastery i got really excited because it was one of my dreams or like bucket list wish that i wanted to visit a monastery and stay there for one week but gladly i got to stay here for one and a half months and i enjoyed every bit of it i got to talk to uh, the nuns and monks i had a great talk with them and i got my mind cleared mostly and the atmosphere over here is very nice so thank you seka joining with us and thank you to come for sri lanka yeah i will i would definitely come again to this place because i really love this place